I'm lucky to have this space. It's really very much me and my brand. It's like spectacular. Great presentation, so stunning, always stunning. You know, really is uh, they're the master of their craft. Marquise is really for every single woman, right? There's the trendy girl, the girly girl, it's a little mix of both, or the curvier girl, and that's what makes Marquise so special. What stays, who watches the video or the posts on Instagram? It's your pictures, so that's what matters, and you want to say that you looked amazing on your wedding day. You were just saying tonight, it felt like a wedding. We are at the New York Library and I'm so proud. It's been years I wanted to be at the library and I know lots of fashion shows have happened here, but the new thing is that this particular space was locked up and was just renovated and no one else has done a show here ever. And I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. So I, I'm lucky to have this space. It's really very much me and my brand. It's like spectacular. Just can't ask for better. The look today for Remacra is ethereal, romantic, just natural wave to it. So we did a middle part and we set the hair with braids, two simple cornrows. We dampen it and then we let it set. The girls go to makeup. Once it dries, we undo the braid and then it has a nice texture to it. And we kind of brush it out a little bit and kind of have that wispy, romantic, cool feeling to it. Some of the girls' hair goes up, so the girls that go up, it's a loose, low knot, it's not a bun. Also, keeping it easy, like flowy. Um, and then we do a braid of their hair on the crown, and that's it, those are the two looks. So today at Remacker Bridal, we're doing a beautiful ethereal pink glow on the face. We're doing a really beautiful pink cheek with a matching reflecting of a soft shimmer metallic on the eye. We layered a cream shadow for long wear and then we layered it with a little bit of a shimmer on top to give that beautiful light reflection on the inner corner, on top of the eye and then underneath the lash line as well. And then it matches the same glow on the cheek and a little bit of a gloss on the lip just for a soft beautiful brand. It's always there's a starting point, but the starting point could be the end point as well. So it's always a mixture of when do we really start thinking about the collection. Sometimes it happens in the middle of when we're draping and putting things together. And uh, this specific collection, I wanted it to be pure, to be about uh, spirituality, and I think it's time for that. So therefore, the space, the sound, the music, and everything around us. This collection has so many new fabrics and textiles, whether it's the organza, it's not our regular organza. It has a different weave. Our tool is different. The layering is different. There's a lot of grandeur in the dresses. They're pure. Even there will be plain dresses that usually you don't see me make design pure dresses, but this time there will be a lot of purity in the dresses. It's all about construction, fabric, and the aura around the dress. I loved Reed Macker's show. It was actually one of my favorites so far this season. I thought it was really interesting how it came out, really minimal and clean. And then you had all these ethereal and soft romantic looks. And some of the ball gowns reminded me of what Rhee Macra designed when she first started in like the 90s. And it was just really nice how she reinterpreted that embroidery and design again. 
I thought Remacro was extraordinary, just extraordinary. A lot of the baby's breath is garlands, which is a really unique idea that brides can actually use. The headbands were super fun and playful, and that can be fun for brides too. So I wanted to do something different, and uh, I thought about the headpieces. I always love to do my own and uh, wanted something to be very natural that, uh, that my design room can put together. And it was about all, uh, you know, the kingdom of uh, the nature. So that's what it is. I thought a lot of that kind of royal train, like royal bustles in the back of the waist was really interesting and it kind of had that like Queen Victoria, you know, we're all talking about when's Meghan Markle getting married to Prince Harry and it kind of had that vibe. So I thought that was really interesting and definitely something we don't often see. She is a uh, royal. She wants something new. She is this new girl that's looking for something that's not done before. Looking for something that really gives a personality and gives an edge. It's modern but classical at the same time. So it's about a girl that loves purity, that really has this regal look and just very fashion oriented at the same time. Just watch this show and you will know. It's always, uh, when you're asking a designer what's your favorite piece, you can't say it. But I think the opening piece says, says a message. It's about purity and the end piece is the finale. It's really what what's this house is all about. It's about grandeur, it's about luxury, it's about royalty. So you see that mixture of between the purity that begins the show and how it ends. So it's kind of a, a whole big message. Here we are, beautiful Marquesa. Great presentation, so stunning, always stunning. You know, really is, uh, they're the master of their craft. You know, we are, they're a top vendor for me in my store. I'm working with them since day one and they have been a great partner, you know, for me. The gowns are spectacular. I think it's extraordinary. It's real. Things are always beautiful, but these things are above the usual. They're beautiful, just beautiful. 
It, it's truly exquisite. I mean, their attention to detail, and it's just a bride's dream come true to wear Marquesa the day of their wedding. Find a bride. I know. I'm a bride to me. It's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I want one of each, please. I'll just just wrap it up and, and messenger right now. <laughs> The presentation is so artistic and beautiful. They really did a great job. And it's so much more friendly for people to be able to walk around and see the dresses rather than from afar. I appreciate it. It makes you happy. The gowns make you happy. They're, they're light in their feeling. They don't look too heavy. They're very modern, but they're very traditional in the same vein. They're ultra feminine. I think the collection looks very romantic as usual this season, but I, I'm loving the puff sleeves. It's a very new direction. It's got kind of an 80s feel to it, maybe. I just think it looked really fresh and very elegant and very couture, actually. And I, the, all the textures are, are, you know, all there that they did that are so beautiful. And all the details of ruffles and lace and bows. I think girls want to look pretty again like that. They want to look beautiful, but in a more classic way. Not so naked, you know, not so many naked dresses this time. A little more coverage. Love all the long sleeves, high necklines. It's spectacular. Just love it. It is they're each unique. You know, sometimes you'll say, oh, well, that's a Ream or a Marquesa. I wouldn't have recognized any of these specifically. They're just beautiful. Every dress has a very elevated, important bride feeling. Look at me, I'm elegant. Note is an amazing brand. I'm so happy for them with their success. It's quite beautiful. Love the presentation. I think it looks great. The body shapes are wonderful. It's, it seems like you know a little bit more accessible, not as ornate, but it still has the Marquesa flair to it. And I'm sure the price points are more appealing to sell more. Marquesa is really for every single woman, right? There's the trendy girl, the girly girl, it's a little mix of both. 
Um, and <laughs> we're the curvier girl, and that's what makes Marquesa so special. The look is all about perfected skin, beautiful, naturally glowing skin with this element of surprise, which is a mixed metal eyeliner. And it has a flick, a little wing tip to it, and it reflects light and it's beautiful. And we wanted that little special something where it wasn't just a black line. Just saying tonight, it felt like a wedding. <laughs> what has driven us this time? Uh, we have two collections, Gala Couture. Gala is about the sensation you would get when you hear a certain kind of music. And couture is inspired by uh, senses and scents, so it's not a perfume. It's not that blunt in your face. It's more of a dream apothecary. What goes on in your mind when you smell something? They say uh, scent is the strongest trigger of memories. Galia comes from art, she's an artist, and she was my art teacher at school. And there's always the personal touch of the hand of the artist in every single gown that we do. The, for instance, all the lace that you see and all those beaded dresses, these are not fabrics. We sit and we sketch the dresses and uh, every uh, petal is uh, done according to a sketch of ours and it's... Uh, Everything's a creation and personalized. Always, always beyond my greatest expectations. Just beautiful fabrications this time, the detailing. I'm seeing such a big trend of everything looking very ethereal and flowing, and I think they captured it like to perfection, to perfection.
lot of wow moments and I think in a competitive market like this, that's what you have to do to keep your brides happy. They just nailed it. It was stunning, stunning presentation. I learn a lot from the clients, especially I love going to trunk shows every now and then because when you touch earth <laughs> and you stay close to the people who are your, uh, not only your clients because buying a wedding gown is an emotional purchase and there's there so much involved and if you're not human and you don't understand the emotions involved then you shouldn't be in this business, in my opinion. And all these gorgeous girls are, that are standing over there are uh, brides of ours. So they, we stay friends with them. We don't sell clothes or dresses, we sell dreams and when you want to fulfill a girl's dream and it manifests itself in just one night for a few hours, it has to wow you. I always tell brides what stays, who watches the video or the post on Instagram. It's your pictures, so that's what matters. And you want to say that you looked amazing on your wedding day. And that we learn from the brides.